Hi everybody, it's me Brandy with V Vintage Design and Decor and today I am doing a part two video for my brooches and I had a request to do some more animal or critter brooches. So today I pulled out um, quite a few of my critter brooches along with a few additional ones and Believe it or not, I already filmed this, uh, or so I thought, and uh, yeah, forgot to push play somehow. Um, so I realized it as I was almost done with the video. So we're going to go through them for me again, for you the first time. And um, so if I sound <laughs> like I already know what they say and how big they are and everything, it's because I already did it. <laughs> so... Anyhow, uh, yeah, the things that, the things that, uh, the things we find not funny. <laughs> oh, well, anyways. So, yes, uh, if you're interested in anything in this video, um, my email address is at the top of the screen. It's bvintage74 at gmail.com. Just email me with the, each of these are numbered. You can see um, they either have a numerical number or an A and then a number because I did add to my hundred brooches that I have going for this video series, I added some more. Since I had some people that wanted critters, I went through and pulled out some additional critter brooches that I had. Um, and I still have so many more. Um, so I will definitely have more critters in, in the next few videos as well, but this one is mainly um, animals. So Let's get started. Oh, $5 flat rate shipping anywhere in the United States under a pound. And um, over a pound, it's just based on weight and where you're at. And then international shipping is also based on where you're located. All right, let's get started. I am standing up today so that I'm looking over my camera. And then that way uh, I can get a good angle on these brooches for you guys. Okay, let's get started. So the first one I'm going to grab is a, not a critter brooch. This one is a gorgeous emerald green floral enameled brooch with these AB crystal and green emerald colored crystals in the center. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Silver toned on the back, not marked. Beautiful condition on the pin number A5, $10. And this one is about two and a half, maybe inches. Uh, little, just a little bit under two, just a little under two and a half. Isn't that stunning? This reminds me of Wizard of Oz because of that beautiful emerald green color. This one and the next one. So that once again, a5, $10. All you need to let me know is A5. So since we're on green, let's do this beautiful green brooch. And you can actually see, I mean, look at the color. Look at the color through the crystal there or gemstone. It's gorgeous. This is $10. Item number 45, it's about two inches, I believe, about two inches total, yeah, from tip to tip. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those colors. Gorgeous vintage brooch. Once again, number 45, $10. All right, this is it looks like a JJ. It is not a JJ. It is a pewter brooch. Beautiful rhinestones. Sorry, it was out of focus there. Beautiful rhinestones up here along the strap line of the bag. It is $8, number 85, and I believe AJC. There we go. Can you see that? Right there. AJC is the designer. Beautiful. $85, $8. I mean, the detail, look at the detail on the towel and on the irons. I mean, what a great gift for a golfer. 
Okay, next up is a critter. We're doing this beautiful cloisonne swan. It's got um, almost like a periwinkle blue striping on it. And then that beautiful cloisonne design with the red and the blue and the purple and the green. And then this really pretty bright white. This is about an inch and a half, I believe. I don't know if this is, see that right there? If it could technically be used as a pendant as well, if you have a small enough chain to go through it. It's A8 is the number, $8 is the price. And she is beautiful. Okay, next up is a Liz Claiborne Dove. This is a mother of pearl mosaic dove. Isn't that stunning? It has the, the holly in its mouth and then this beautiful gold tone detailing. Look at the color that picks up. Woo! Did I throw it? All right, the L and the C are right there. go and you can see it's in excellent condition a7 ten dollars is the price a7 ten dollars very pretty let's do another critter look at these two cats aren't they adorable they are BFFs just chilling together the one has a little tail that moves and there's a silver tone and a gold tone. The silver one has little speckles. And I think this is a Dan Craft, D-A-N-E Craft. I believe that's what it says in there. Dane Craft, however you would say it. And it's about, I think, two inches inch and a half, inch and a half across. Okay, and, oh, and that was once again, $5, number six. Let's just show you that, number six, $5. I think I forgot to say that the first time. Sorry about that. Okay, what to do next? Let's do this cat. Look at this cat. He looks like a Disney kind of cat, doesn't he? Like the one of the uh, Cheshire cats has this little maniacal look in his eye, like he's up to something. <laughs> he's just cool. He, he, or he's guarding a sphinx. Awesome little mid-century looking black cat. A9, $8 is its number. It's not marked anywhere. It's in great condition. And I just love the sassy look on its face. Like, I know you're up to something and I'm watching you. A9, $8. And I believe that this one is about two inches. Yeah. Two inches from tip of the ear to the tail. Okay. Let's do, where's my favorite one? This one here. I chose this one because it's stunning. It is marked sterling, so it is sterling silver with marcasite. Look at the fire in that marcasite. Oh my gosh, it just sparkles. Isn't that stunning? And because it is marked sterling, it is an, it's A6 is the number, $35. And it is marked very small right here. See that, those letters right there? Let's see if I can get a close up without it getting too out of focus. There we go. You can kind of see it there, right there on the leaf. But it's marked sterling, A6, $35. And these sterling and marcasite brooches, they go for some good money. 
they go over a hundred dollars especially for the bigger ones this one is about I believe I want to say an inch and a half no it's about two inches my memory from my last video is not that great <laughs> And once again, A6, $35 on that one. Uh, let's pull another critter. Let's do this little Scotty dog. Isn't he adorable? Gold tone, has some rhinestones in the tail and on the collar and in his eye. He's only $5, number 62. And I believe it's a 1928 because of that swirl on the back. Although I've seen some Monet's that look similar to him. So I'm not 100% sure who he is. But he's a good quality little brooch. And he is only about an inch and a half. Just a little under. And once again, $5, number 62. Okay, let's do this scarab, number 70. And this scarab, it has been cleaned. It almost has a glaze over it to bring out the detail on the scarabs. Isn't that cool? And I think they all have the same design. And then here's the back, it is not marked. Clearly an older piece. The pin does extend past the clasp pin is nice and straight. It's in great condition for the age of it. Isn't that beautiful? So number 70, $8. And I believe this one is, let me measure it, about an inch and a half. Once again, number 70, $8. Okay, let's do, hmm, let's do this guy. Now, I will say, I have seen comps on this exact same one online for up to $75. This one, um, I priced it on the lower end because it does have some silver showing through here. Definitely mid-century, probably from the uh, late 50s to mid 60s era, I'm guessing. It's got that matte kind of brushed gold here and then the shiny gold details around the faux pearl eye and then the um, orangey color, coral color cabochon in the center, I'm trying to pick it up there. You can see it's got a little scratch. However, I mean, that that's, it's not coming, like the stone is not coming out or the cabochon's not coming out. Um, it's just a scratch in the actual, like, plastic. There is the back, and it is marked BSK, as you can see right here. This is number A3, $15. And it's about two inches as well. Okay, let's see. Let's do this beautiful brooch. Now, this one is a more modern piece. Beautiful butterfly, has all of its rhinestones, beautiful color rhinestones. They are not prong set, they are set into the setting. Here is the back. I will say that this pin it does, it does hold, but it does like to easily come undone. So probably somebody had this on like a thicker coat or something. You can see there's a little bend to the pin, just a slight bend. Um, and so that probably loosened that up a bit, but you can see it still locks. It's just, it's, um, you know, it, it's easily opened, if that makes sense. A11, $10. Isn't that beautiful? And that one's about three inches. I have a little fruit fly in here, flying around. How did he get in here? Okay, this next one is a JJ Pewter cat. 
he's clearly up to no good, looking around, wondering what's going on. A1, $8, and it is marked JJ, oops, let's do it this way. JJ1988. Let's get that to focus. There we go. JJ1988. Cute little cat. Uh, I want to say it's about two and a half inches, I believe. No, well, it's about three inches total. A1, $8. JJ Cat. So for all you JJ collectors out there, or people that like cats. All right, this next one is a Gold Tone Roadrunner, mid-century, green, emerald green, rhinestone eye. Number 27, not marked, $5. And this one's probably about, I think, an inch and a half. Yeah, about two inches from tip to tip. Super cute Roadrunner. Once again, number 27, $5. Let's do my little Frank. Let me be Frank. Definitely a handmade piece, well made though. You could certainly take this part off. It'd actually be kind of cool if you took this piece off and hung like a little skull head or something from an earring. That's always a thought, um, but it's still cute as is. And it's got this like glaze over the top of it and the back is a little textured. I don't believe it's ceramic, but it's some type of material like that. A4, $6 for this um, artisan piece and um, very well made, nicely hand painted. Excuse me, and like I said, it is um, resined over the top here. And once again, $6, A4 is the number. And he's big, he's about three inches, maybe four inches, let me see. Three inches. Okay, moving along, let's do the other Roadrunner. This one's so cool. He's got like a turquoise colored eye, and I believe he is pewter. If not, he is just silver toned. Jay Ritter. Um, is the designer. You can see that really well. Number 18, $5. And I believe he is pewter. And let's measure him. He is tip to tip, almost three inches. And he's a skinny little, skinny little pin. Be cute little, um, if you could find some other little silver pins or something or even a few more road runners, you could scatter pin them. That would be really cute. Once again, number 18, $5. All right, let's do, let's do this one. It's so pretty. It's just a very simple Avon vintage brooch, number 33, flip over, $5. And this, I don't know what this material would be. It's not really plastic because you, I feel like, you know, if you really tried hard, you could break it. It almost feels like it is some type of ceramic. And then it's got this glaze over the top and uh, this transfer on the front, floral transfer. It's not raised, it's flat. But this, this, you can hear it, is textured. Very pretty. Okay, number 33 and $5 for the vintage Avon brooch. Sorry to be at the bottom of the screen on that one. I had to shift, shift my weight and I didn't realize I was at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so look at these two. A, um, I'll just say a parent. I don't wanna say it's a mama. It's, it could be a daddy and it's baby. Mama or daddy and it's baby or a close family friend. <laughs> they at least both have their trunks up. They are not marked on the back and they're almost, it's thin like tin, but I don't believe it is tin. A10, $8. And I believe this one is about 
yeah, almost three inches. And I love the detail in this one. And like I said, it is it is thinner. You can see a nice straight pin too. A10, $8 for the elephant family. Let's do this holiday kitty. Isn't it cute? Look at the little bow. The bow is the bow is actually like ribbon material, but it's a little bit stiffer. Has a little rhinestone there and then enameling. And then this dangly candy cane. And it is marked. Let's see if you can see that. Mm. I cannot. So let me get my loop real quick to tell you what it says. AJMC. AJMC is the marking on the back. And it is number 12, five dollars. It looks, and this, I don't know what this is up here. It's it's almost like some type of glue, but it's not glue like they fixed it. It's not like they fixed it. It's, it's still very, very firm, and it's still soldered on up there. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming maybe it glues something else in there, in place. I'm not sure. Maybe from this, maybe the glue, you know, seeps down below. Would that be? In, no, that wouldn't be in the same area. I don't know. But, and then this is like a pom-pom here. So cute. And it looks like actually somebody had it as a pen, like a, wearing it as a pendant. So you could do that, but it's not, you know, like a fixed on there. Okay, $5, that was number 12. Moving along, let's do this little Easter guy. Look how cute he is. He's on wood. He's signed LM by the artist, hand painted, adorable, on some wood, A12, $3. And he's definitely a little vintage, but still in excellent condition. So cute. Uh, two and a half inches. Love the colors on this. So springy and in such great condition. A12, $3. Okay, we got a few more left. Bonus hair. Okay. This is A2, $5. Another cat. Another pewter cat. And this one has um, some like cutout hearts. Well, this one's a cutout heart. The other ones are enameled in and there's gold tone up here too. And you can see the coloring. There's like red, teal, gold. And I don't believe this one is marked. No, but it is super cute. Um, A2, $5. And that's a cutout down there too. And this one is about two inches. He's just got a cute little face on him. Okay, Ann Klein did this adorable Dalmatian. Look at that guy, he's like a pup. And number eight, five dollars. There's the Ann Klein mark. Pin in excellent condition. Silver tone with this like black enameling for his spots. And he's about two inches, I think, as well. Yeah, just about. Whoops, here we go. So cute. Once again, that's uh, number eight, five dollars for the Incline Pup. Here we have a lion's head. Now this lion's head, I love it. It's so retro, isn't it? He does have a little bit of wear, like a little silvering coming through up there. Maybe a little on his nose. But he, um, it just reminds me of uh, Musa, Musa, Mustafa, Mustafa, yeah, from the Lion King. Mufasa, yeah, is that right? <laughs> One of those from the Lion King. Um, $51, $51, oh man, I need coffee. Number 51. <laughs> And it's five dollars. If I can flip that over, five dollars. I told you I already did the video once and 
Now I'm tired. I need some coffee. I have to come up here with some coffee. All right, there's the, there we go, there's the pin. Here you can see, I know it's a little out of focus, sorry, a little of the silvering there on the end. And it's not on the whole piece, just here and there, but it's still a really cool pin, really striking face and in great condition. And I think about two inches, $5, number 51. This is a vintage Trafari, not a crown Trafari. Um, it is enameled with a white, almost like a cream colored, uh, our ivory white enameling and gold. Number 67, there is the Trafari mark. It's upside down. No, that was right side up. There we go. $10 is what I'm asking for this one. And it is gold tone. Isn't it beautiful? And it's about two inches as well. All right, we got four more to go through on part two. And trust me, I still have plenty, plenty more. All right, so here is this little poodle dog with a red eye, red rhinestone eye, black enameled collar. He's so fluffy. He's almost like a spaghetti poodle. He's about one and a half inches, gold tone. Gold tone? Yeah, he's like a soft gold tone. Number 73, $5. And not marked. Right? Yeah, no, mar no markings. There we go. Cute. All right, number 13, $5. Here is one of my favorites, this gold and red enameled stiletto heel. It's got um, some rhinestones on the toe and on the heel deal detail, beautiful red enameling, bright gold, number 80 and $8. Also not marked but isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, if that were in a black suit, how sharp would that be? About two inches. Or even just like, um, I, I mean, really a white shirt, anything, anything, a denim jacket, it would look so cute on. Okay, this is $5, number 74. Don't believe this is marked either. Not seeing any markings. It is a dolphin, blue enameled dolphin with a uh, rhinestone eye and then like this kind of like rhinestone y, it's almost like a glittery encrusted belly. And the glittery appearance is what makes me not know what age this is. It's, um, I think it is more modern though. Probably from the 80s, maybe the 90s. $5, number 74. And then, you know what, I'm gonna do one more other than this one. This one is, um, he looks enameled, but he's not. He's actually painted on kind of that cloisonne style. He's got his trunk up elephant, um, like an Indian inspired elephant. Number 29, he is a Warner pin, and he is $8, and his pin is in excellent condition. He almost reminds me of the elephants in Indiana Jones, I think because of the little hat. I'm sure there's a word for that hat, but I don't know what it is, so I'm going to call it a hat. Oh, once again, $8, number 29. And the last one I'll do in this video is this letter C. Isn't it beautiful? It is not sterling or anything. It's not even marked. Um, but I just think if you have an initial C, either first or last name, number 64, $5. I just think it's, if you have that initial, I just think that's such a pretty brooch, isn't it? Love it. Okay, so
So these are all our brooches for today. I have them all in my bin here waiting for you guys to inquire about them. Once again, when you do email me, please don't comment which ones you want in the comment box because I don't check the comments as frequently as I check my email for orders. Um, so I would hate for you to lose out on something because somebody else got an email in before you. And I do respond to my emails um, fairly quickly unless I'm doing something. Um, but even if I am doing something, I go in order of how my emails came in. So I do reply to you and I um, verify that you want the item. And I do wait a little bit to hear back from you. But if there's others interested in the items, then if I don't hear back from you right away, I do pass and go to the next person. So um, just to let you know that. And then if you, once again, if you see any items, actually I can't remember if I said this or not because I had to refilm. Um, but if you see an item in this video um, and you want to pay for it and have me hold off on shipping it for the next video, um, that way you can have all your items shipped together, I don't mind doing that. But I do ask that you at least pay for the item so that I don't hold it up um, in case others are interested in it. That way at least I know um, it's been purchased and it sits aside waiting to be shipped out, excuse me, for um, when I have another video. All right. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in part three. This is part two. I definitely have a part three and probably a part four as well. And who knows? <laughs> Maybe even more after that. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe and stay beautiful and have a good one.